Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my DIY scar treatments for at home. I have two formulas. The one I'm showing you first is the one I'm currently using and I'm showing you a before and after. These are mosquito bites that I got at the end of September. I'm highly allergic so I always scar. So you're gonna need a empty amber roller ball from Amazon and some stainless steel funnels to make things a little bit easier depending on your carrier oil. I'll have all of the oils and the formula listed in the description box. I found this on Facebook through my Young Living group, but you can use whichever oils you prefer at home. For this blend, it's really important to roll the roller ball between your hands in between each oil addition. This helps mix the oils in and really makes it more effective. So make sure you do this in between each addition to the oil. After you've added all of the oils, you can fill the rest of the rollerball glass bottle with a carrier oil. I'm just using this one that I had, I got for free through Young Living, but I also really love jojoba oil, which is about $12 for a pretty large jar of, uh, bottle of it. You'll want to roll the roller ball in between your hands before applying, and I recommend applying anywhere between two to three times a day, depending on the severity of your scars. I like to do it about two times a day when I wake up and get dressed, and also after I shower at night. This has been way more effective than the one I'm about to show you, but these oils are definitely a little bit more expensive. So I'm gonna show you a more affordable option that was also working very well. It just takes a little bit more time. You're once again going to need a glass roller bottle. You're gonna need geranium, frankincense, lavender, lemongrass, and as a bonus, you can add some rose hip oil as well, but you don't have to, and then fill up with jojoba oil or your carrier oil of choice. And here's my before and after. It has been a few months, but with scars, it does take time to diminish and heal. And I've been really happy with the results by using essential oils. Now, as always with essential oils, please make sure to do your research and pick the purest form of essential oils you have available to you, as well as be aware of any allergies and definitely do spot tests on the inside of your wrist to make sure you're not allergic to anything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know if you like more DIYs in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Bye.